a blend of many factors ranging from biological, psychological to socio-cultural dimensions interact in fascinating and changing ways that influence our food choices. As we all know, foodstuffs provide the nutrients and the energy to fulfill physical needs. That's the biological aspect. From a cultural point of view, food proteins can vary from one country to another, such as table manners and food repertoire. For example, Europeans do not eat insects, although this is a very good source of proteins. Moreover, if hunger is a key driver for eating, you don't always eat because of your hungerness, but generally because it's the time to eat. Food behavior depends on basic things like gender and age. Women will generally pay more attention about food and health than men. As well, there are food specificities depending on the life cycle and social status. But deeper things play an important part too. Your background and education, your beliefs and religions, your profession and location, and passion, and ambition, and locomotion, and evolution, and reflection, and flexion, fashion, recognition, collection. Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. Food practices are also a way to distinguish ourselves. The way we eat is a strong identity marker, despite more and more specific diets emerging today. Of course, eating is a social activity. People change their food choices and diets based on the time of day, where they are, and the people they are with. The act of eating enables one to integrate groups to transmit values between generations, to maintain relationships, and even more. For nearly 30 years, the agro-food system has become increasingly complex, creates more and more confusion to the eater about the origin of food. If the consumer has a better access to nutritional knowledge, the multiplication of nutritional claims coming from marketing, the media, industries, doctors, or government policies can be contradictory and create a misunderstanding. In parallel, there is a permanent arbitration between the different dimensions of the act of eating and a concurrence between health concerns and other socio-cultural dimensions of food. To conclude briefly, it is necessary to consider the symbolic and social dimensions of food to understand the act of eating as a whole. This is the key to build and implement public interventions, which aim to guide people towards healthier food behavior.